Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pix and Perfect, and today I'm going to show you how to fake a sun, the one that you see in the sky with Photoshop. We have two examples lined up for you, so without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are back at the magical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download any of the photos shown in the tutorial, check the links in the description. So with example number one, the first thing we need to do is to create a gradient. So click on the adjustment layer icon and choose the second option right there, which is gradient. Now we need a radial gradient because sun is what? It's a circle, right? So click on in here and choose a gradient from opaque to transparent. So in this case, we're going to choose the second one, which is foreground to transparent and we can change the colors. Just make sure the left top slider has the opacity of 100 and the right top slider has the opacity 0. Now let's choose the color. On the left hand side you can double click on it and change the color to somewhat yellowish. That's fine. Bright yellow. I like that. Hit OK. Now as it fades, we're going to choose red. So it's going to turn into red. Click on this one. You can also single click on the color to choose the color. So we're going to choose something like this. That looks fine. Hit OK. Now hit OK again. Of course, it's going to be radial. So change the style from linear to radial. Now we have the sun kind of shape right there and we can move it anywhere we want. So I'm going to keep it right there. At this moment, it's very huge. So let's make it smaller by decreasing what? The scaling. So decrease the scaling from 100 to let's go for about how about 25. That looks to be about right. So hit OK. You can always change this later. Now it doesn't look anything like sun. I can totally get it. We just need to use the power of blend modes. Now, what is sun? It's bright. So what is brightening in Photoshop? Well, what is the terminology? What is the technique? Dodging, right? We also want to add some color. So why not change the blend mode to color dodge? So change the blend mode from normal to color dodge. Coloring a little bit, dodging, brightening, right? Change it to that. Now it looks pretty all right, but um, you know, something just doesn't fit right. So what do we do? We just need to simply change the colors and move it a little bit to the left. So again, double click on in here and we can move it right there. It seems to be pretty all right. I think if we single click on this one and change the color to a little bit whiter color, that would look better. So change the color from yellow to a little bit more white. You see, that looks better. So let's choose this color, hit OK. And on the right hand side, let's choose a little more, you know, orangish. Now orange doesn't fit right, so red is fine a touch of magenta. Hit OK. Hit OK again. That fits to be all right. Now we can decrease the scale if you want to. But I guess for this example, 24 or 25 would be pretty nice. Now, if you think the sun is too powerful, you can always do this. Decrease the fill. Now keep in mind, color dodge is one of the eight special blend modes. So opacity and fill is different on these special eight blend modes. So fill controls the projection where opacity is simply lightening it up. So if you simply decrease the opacity, See, it's fading it, but if you decrease the fill, it will control the projection, as you can see right there. If you think it's too powerful, you can always decrease the fill. For this example, we're going to keep it at about 97. That's pretty all right. Now, we have created the sun, but we still need to create the light around it. So again, I think the fill is kind of too much. We can actually move the sun if you want to. Let's move it a little down like that and decrease the scaling to about 20. Hit OK. That's good. Fill. Let's increase it. I think it was fine. 86 was OK. We need to create the light around the sun. How do we do that? Again, let's create one more gradient. So click on the adjustment layer icon and this time again, choose gradient. Now we will choose the color yellow again and on the right hand side as it fades, we will choose red, which is OK. Hit OK. All right. We need to change the blend mode from linear to radial. Now let's move it over the sun. Just exactly right there. Now scaling is kind of too much. So we're going to keep the light around it at about 56%. Let's keep it 50. Hit OK. Now we just want the light. We just want brightening. That's it. Now what is the blend mode which brightens stuff? Screen. So change the blend mode from normal to screen. See the light around it looking so fine and amazing. Now um, let's add a little magenta to it because have a look at the background. There's so much magenta. So we're going to go back and let's make it a little more magenta. So let's try little magenta color or let's pick a color from here. No problem at all. So this is okay. I think the yellow needs to be a little more orangish. So we're going to change the hue a little bit to make it more orangish. You know, that fits a little more. Hit okay. Hit okay again. And we can move it any place we want. This place is fine. 
scaling, we can decrease it or increase it, it's upon us. So I'm feeling like 32. Let's go for 32. Now this is all right, but we still need the light around it. We still need the atmosphere. And we can do that by using curves. Now I'm gonna say it again and again, I've said it before. I've, I'll say that, say that in future, and that is if there's one thing you need to master in Photoshop, it's going to be curves. And there's already a video guide on it, which you can watch right here. So click on the curves adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and then choosing curves. Now we need to take it up just like this. Now in the bright areas, what do we want? A little more yellow color. So let's go to the blue channel and decrease the blues in the highlights. Why? Because blue is the opposite of yellow. So if we just simply decrease it, you bring in a little bit of the yellows. Now we want a little magenta too, right? So decrease the greens in the highlights. Wow, now we are onto something. Let's get back to RGB and make it even brighter, just like this. Now, we don't want all of this brightening to be applied on these gradients or the sun that we added. You can actually group both of them. Select the first one, hold the control or command. Select the second one, control or command G. You can name the sun if you want to. But this brightening, we want it just on the landscape, right? Just on this background. So let's bring the curves below the sun, right? We have all this. Now, we don't want the brightness, on the dark areas. So we want to take it away from the dark areas. And what do we do to do that? You already know that. Blend if. So double click on the right hand side of the layer. The layer style dialog box shows up. We want to take away the dark areas of the underlying layer from the current layer, which is the curves. So let's take the slide off the underlying layer from left to right. See the atmosphere we are creating, right? But if you have a close look, it's very harsh. So hold the Alt key or the Option key. Click on the slider to break it apart right there and just break it apart. You can even extend it on this side as well, but I'm liking this. There you go. Hit OK. Now what we wanted, this light to just be in that specific area, not anywhere else. So click on the Curves Adjustment Layers Mask, press Control or Command I, and then you can take the brush, make it larger with a very huge brush, Make sure the foreground color is white. You can press X to toggle between the foreground and the background and D to reset the swatches. Just dab. Make sure opacity and flow at 100. Dab on the sun. Now, only that area is brightened. You can dab on other areas as well. Have a look at this. Only that area is brightened. Now we wanna just darken the rest of the areas. So you can create one more curves adjustment layer under it and add an overall darkening. Something like that. Now I want you to have a look at this. Here's the before, here's the after. See how we fake the sun right there, right? Now if you want, you can always decrease the opacity of this light, extra light that we added. I think it's kind of too much. So we're gonna keep it at about 70, 70%. Or if you want a little extreme, let's go for 80. And that looks fantastic. Here's the before, here's the after. That's how we fake a sun. Now, I wanna show you one more thing. Here, example number two, there is no sign of sun, but we're gonna create it. You're gonna use the same method and uh, you don't have to do it all over again. I'm just gonna copy and paste the sun layer. So group actually. So you can select the group, press Control or Command C, and then come back in here, Control or Command V. So we don't want this magic ball of light on the grass, we want to move it. So let's open the properties one by one. So let's turn it off first and double click on this one. Let's move it to the sun area. I think this would be a right area to be in. And I think this is great, hit OK. And let's turn this on as well. Open the properties and move over that area. I think we can go a little larger in this case. Let's go for about 45. What do you think? Is it, does that, does that look all right? I hope you could respond, that would be fantastic. But anyway, this looks okay. And this is very, very bright. It look like, looks like an explosion just happened there. So we need to decrease the fill. So let's come back to this one and decrease the fill. All right. And let's move a little bit to the right hand side. That looks okay. And we need to mask out the top. The top looks a little strange. So select the mask, take the brush, foreground color, black, and just make the brush a little smaller because we had made it huge in the previous example. All righty. Okay, this looks to be all right. Now, just paint black over it. All right, this is okay. Sun is okay, the light is okay. Maybe you wanna recreate the sun too. Let's add some white in here. That looks all right. 
Now, once we have the sun, we need to create the lighting. So just above it, you can collapse the group if you want to by clicking here. Click on the adjustment layer icon. You're going to choose the same old technique, curves. Brighten it a lot like that. Of course, we want yellow. So we'll go to the blues and decrease the blues to add some yellows. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of green in there. So we need to go to the green channel and decrease the green in the highlights, just like this. Now we are getting somewhere. It's looking great. Let's go to the blue channel again. Maybe let's increase it a bit. Anyway, so RGB channel, let's increase it even more. Now that looks fantastic. Now, of course, we only want it in the bright areas. So double click on the right hand side of the layer. Take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right, just like this. Hold the Alt or Option, click on the slider to break it apart. Wow. Now that looks like something, right? Hit OK. We need to mask it too. Click on the mask, Control or Command I, and you can take the brush, take a soft brush, and then just dab on the areas where you want some extra lighting. So white as the foreground color, just dab in here. See how we add the light? Let's make it even larger. Let's add some light in these areas as well. Now we can take your time to be as much accurate as possible. I've just added light some here and there. You can actually make the brush a little smaller and take your time to dodge and burn if you want to. Want to take it away from certain areas, you can do that too. See how we are taking it away from some areas? Let's make it a little smaller. Now change the color to black and take it away from the corners so that it looks like that the light is more realistic and limited. There we go, this is great. Now take it away from the sky too because it's also brightening the sky. So we'll make the brush a little smaller and paint with black over the sky. This is all right. Now we need to add some extra brightness based on the bumps. We don't want any of the details of the grass. So first of all, let's make a copy of the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J and let's blur it out because we just want the bump details. So go to filter, blur and then Gaussian blur, but we won't be able to see it, right? Let's turn off everything, filter, blur and then Gaussian blur. Let's blur it to the point where you just see the bumps here and there. All right, so this is okay. Let's go for 55, hit okay again. Now, Control or Command L to add some levels. And we are just creating a mask. Now we have something to play with, a little bump here and there. Let's create one more curves adjustment layer. You can actually turn the bump off and turn on everything. And this is some extra brightening. Go to the blue channel, let's decrease the blues. Go to the green channel, let's decrease the greens, right? Now, we want to use this bump as a mask. So how do we do that? Let's turn it on first, Control or Command A, Control or Command C, and you can actually delete it right now. Let's go to the mask of this one by holding the Alt or Option, clicking on the mask, we are into the mask, and then paste it, Control or Command V. Now we are using this as a mask. Now we don't want the sky to be in there, so First of all, hold the Alt or Option, click on the mask. So see the bump, see the um, brightness we are adding according to the bumps, which is okay, but it also brightens the sky. So of course, we need to select the mask, take the brush, black as the foreground color, and then just erase it off. You can of course decrease or increase the opacity. You're gonna keep it at about 48, that's okay. And you can delete this bump thing if you want to. Now, all of this is looking all right, looking okay, but uh, you know what's missing? <laughs> the amazing dramatic sky. So let's add some sky. We can actually copy and paste the sky too. So turn off the sun. Let's create a new layer, Control, Alt, Shift, and E. Now we have something, Control, A, Control, C. Now let's move to the other document by clicking on the tab. And then select the topmost layer and then press Ctrl or Command V. Now before we transform anything, let's change it to a smart object by right clicking on it and choosing Convert to Smart Object. Now let's resize it accordingly. Let's keep it at about this size, match the horizons, that's okay. And that seems to be about right. Now, we're not doing some advanced blending in here. I'm just placing it right there. If you wanna know how to match the skies, replace the sky, there are tons of videos on this channel. They all are linked in the description. So once this is selected, the layer is selected, new sky, click on the mask button, take the brush and simply mask it out. We are not doing some advanced blending in this case. Black is the foreground color and just masking it out simply. 
Now we need to adjust the brightness of the new sky. So we can always create a curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Now whatever we do inside of the curves affects everything. We just want to affect the sky. So what do we do? Create a clipping mask. So click on this button. See this arrow right here? It just means that whatever we do inside of the curves adjustment layer, it limits it to just the sky or the layer underneath it. So we'll take the darks a little down. Or maybe let's keep it the way it is. Let's brighten it just a bit. Brighten the shadows. This seems to be all right. Now to add an overall look, we can also add a color lookup table. And you already know what I'm going to add if you have watched the previous tutorials. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose color lookup. And we're going to choose crisp warm. There are two choices I have right here. Crisp warm looks amazing. You can always decrease or increase the opacity. Let's keep it at about, let's go for 40%. Now you can also add one more. Click on the adjustment layer icon, adjustment layer, color lookup. And this time you can also choose sunset, late sunset. Wow, this is fantastic too. Let's decrease the opacity, increase it just a touch at about 38% or 40%. And there you have it. I want you to have a look at the before and after. So here's the before. Oh my God, <laughs> this is the after. Look at the difference, isn't that amazing? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. That's how to add a fake sun or that's how to add the sun effect or whatever you wanna call it, call it faking a sun, especially the one that you see on the sky. In Photoshop, simply all you have to do is to add a gradient, change the blend mode to what? Color dodge and make sure it is a gradient from something opaque, an opaque color, which is bright yellow to transparent. Now, as it fades, you can change the color to red or whatever suits your landscape. It can be red, orange, magenta. And on top of that, to add some flair around it, simply add one more gradient. And this time we're gonna choose the blend mode screen. So that creates the sun, as you can see, but creating the sun is not enough. We need to create an atmosphere around it. And that is something we do by using curves. So by using Curves and Blendif, we create light and drama around the sun. And after that, if you want, you can also change the sky, add some color lookup tables if you wish to. And that's all there is to do. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pixel Perfect free for everybody forever. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for your support. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.